Hello, everybody. Welcome back to MC Eternal here on the Modern Misfits server, guys. Today, we have some exciting plans. We are going to go ahead and get into Mechanism. Uh, we have 25,000 Infirmium Essence. Infurium. Not, I keep putting two M's in there. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into Mechanism, guys. I am excited for this because Mechanism will allow us to increase our ore, our ingot output from our ores, like, exponentially. So I want to show you guys something I did off camera. Actually, check this out. I have all of these are upgraded to Resonant because of the seeds we have yes these are beautiful these are actually all connected up here if we look here's the cable facade it comes all the way over here and is connected into our me system so if we come down here you can see that i've done a heck ton of work i did this last night uh while i was watching dragon ball z um i thought it was pretty fun i just was like hey i'm gonna i'm gonna knock this stuff out moved our our rubber production over here moved all of our other stuff here moved all or i made this look pretty uh, and then I put this here. These are our pulverizer and furnace setup. So any ore that comes in that I have set up will come into these chests or these pulverizers. They'll get pulverized down into nothing and then they'll get redstone furnace. So what it does, it takes one ore and, excuse me, one ore and makes it two uh, ingots. So very cool. I want to go ahead and check here to make sure there's no cinnabar from the gold because that's the one problem with gold is cinnabar likes to pop up. And I think I'm going to add bauxite ore to that list as well. And is that fully upgraded? It is. When you hit it with this, guys, look how quick it goes. It's full. It can't actually. Did I set this up right? Oh, it can't smelt. What am I? No, I don't want to add that. You can't smelt it. This is going to get stuck. What am I thinking? That was stupid. I'm not going to add that. The only reason I wanted to add that is because when you put it in the pulverizer, you do get a chance of getting aluminum. But I think we've talked enough about stuff other than mechanism so what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to set up something to get these enriching metal or me, uh, these enriched alloys from a metal metal or allergic uh metal allergic infuser yeah i know allergic that actually looks right i was making making a funny there so to make one of these we need to have one osmium which is why we ended up going to the um the beneath uh, a few episodes ago, if you are actually last episode of talking to you guys about it, and I showed you that dimension, which is very spooky, but the osmium was all there. So we're going to go ahead. I'm going to erase all of these. If you guys don't know how to do this, uh, you uh, say if we want to put the that there, you press A and it moves it over here, and then A to get it out of there. So we're basically going to get everything set up that we need. So we're going to need to get one of these guys. And it makes it very simple just to come back here. Even though we don't really need it, um, you can just go ahead and do that. Let's get some conduit. So that way we can power this stuff. We're going to get a, do I have another flux? I do. We have a flux point. So flux points allow us to remove energy from there. But check it out. So we're just going to set it up here right in the middle. Um, let's go ahead. We're going to add a few of these cables because we're going to have quite a few machines. And then on here, we're going to add a flux point. Okay. So flux network set up. This, so, yep, we have power. So what we need to do is we need to grab some redstone, which we do have a, quite a bit of. Uh, we're actually going to make this into the blocks. We're going to get a full stack of those. Cool. So to make the enriched alloys, we're going to go ahead and throw those in there. It should fill up very quickly. And there we go. So we're making the enriched alloy. Now to make this faster, obviously we need a speed upgrade, but we need two of those and osmium dust. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is we're going to grab some osmium. I should have quite a bit, actually. Yep, we're going to grab half a stack. And then we're going to come down here to our sag mill, and we're going to throw this in here. Speed it up a little bit. Bam, and we're done. So we have that. We've got two of these cool beans. I should have some glass up in the system somewhere. Bam, we have one speed upgrade. And for here, you put it there. It goes, hey, do you sure you want to load this in? Yeah, we want to be quick. We want to be sanic. All right, here we go. Do another one. And I think the most you can do is 10, but uh, we're, we also, like, because you do the upgrades, obviously it's going to take more power, and so we're going to need to get these energy upgrades. This e, this will increase the energy efficiency, obviously, so what it, what it means is it just takes less power to run, which is good. Um, so let's grab, go ahead and grab another one. Our power gen stuff, we should be, oh, oh, I missed that. Oh, shoot, guys, I forgot to show you something. Look, we have the resonant jetpack. This thing is stinking fast. Look at this, look at this. 
That's without bouncing. When you bounce with the slime boots, you like release your speed cap. And then you're just like, we're off to the races, guys. Look at this. This is very bad for the server. I should probably stop doing this. <laughs> but look at that. We're so far away. All right, so we're back at the base now after our little adventure there. Uh, so let's go ahead. We're going to grab some gold, too. We're going to go ahead and, and pulverize this in the sag mail. Cool. So we can get these energy upgrades here as well. Let's go ahead and get two of those. Are we? Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Two. I said two. There we go. And so this will make it obviously more power efficient, which is amazing. I think, does it one at a time? Yeah, it does it one at a time. Okay. I don't know if there's a way to tell how fast it's going. I don't think there is. But we do have enough for all of the speed upgrades we could ever want. But we're actually going to upgrade all of the energy upgrades. So this thing is going to take like 2 RF per tick, which is beautiful. That actually works. Here. How many of these can we have? Oh, we can only have eight of those. Okay. So eight of each. So Okay, you can actually see. So let's see here. Effect 10 times more efficient, okay? And then 1.78 times f speed. <laughs> okay, so speed upgrades. Bam, bam. Now, I don't honestly know if when we upgrade the machine, if it keeps the upgrades. So this might be stupid, but we are going to test. Okay, so speed upgrade that guy. Cool. So this is done. This is done. So now we have 10 times the f speed and 10 times the efficiency. So I think it's like just normal now. Okay, so we have the enriched alloys. So let's see here. The best way to use these again is in another metallurgic infuser. Metal allergic. Metals allergic. Who would have thought? So we're going to get, actually, I'm going to get two of these just in case. Actually, you can't stack them. Okay. So we're actually just going to straight up grab half a stack of diamonds. And so the diamonds, we do that? Oh, we can't. Do crushed diamonds. So let's go ahead. Now we can add these in here, which is kind of weird that you couldn't before. We don't even have that much. So now this will start to upgrade. And so we can go, hey, we want to go fast. We want to be, we want to be sanding fast. All right, so now we can make these guys, which will in turn make a, allow us to make these. This is obsidian. But we're actually not going to go ahead and use that just yet. Okay, so we need to make... This is the other one I was talking about. Uh, we actually... We should be okay with that one for now. Um, we'll, we'll need that later on in the future. But let's go ahead and grab half a stack of osmium. We're just going to throw him or this stuff in here. We're going to speed it up. Probably shouldn't do that. Okay. So, so we have the, the basic control circuit, which is very, very good. Because now we need to do this. Do we have enough for that? I don't think that's actually it. Wait a sec. So if I want to upgrade this. Wait a sec, wait a sec, wait a sec. To the max. So for one, we gotta we have to upgrade this. So we need... Okay, so we can do that. I guess this is a good time to see if... Oh, shoot. We don't need that. Okay, so we still have all of our redstone in there, so that's good. We need to get some more iron ingots. I'm going to waste all my time. Yeah, I wasted all my time in the bottle. That was stupid. Cool thing is this is pretty quick. Okay, so we have our, our items. Let's go ahead and upgrade this guy just to be cool. Okay, bam, this guy has been upgraded. Cool beans. And then so for this guy, we actually have everything we need to make these though. Okay, so that's that seems pretty easy. Let's go ahead and upgrade that again. So we need two of those. Okay, so we got that. That's very neat. Okay, bam, we got this guy. Now to make this guy, we need oh, just some of some of the some of those or some of those or so we need to get two of those and then two of those and then 
Awesome. So this is the Elite Infusing Factory. Let's have a look here and see the difference between this and the other ones. So obviously it looks a bit different. It fills out the full block instead of having these little cool features to make it all neat looking, but let's check it out. Yes. So this is the real deal. Like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So one of these will outprocess all of those. Does that, does the, do you fully compute that? So these are all resonant. I think I was, I misspoke a little bit. It doesn't outperform all of these guys. It, out, it outperforms seven of these. There's another machine in here that looks exactly like this that does the same thing as these that just annihilates them. So let's see here. So this will auto sort it. See how it puts them, it evenly distri distributes them. But I think it uses a crap ton of power. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. As soon as we get those speed upgrades in here. Can we take these out? We can. Okay, so we're not even going to... Yeah, we're just going to throw these in there. Have a look. So energy is first, obviously. Because energy should be first, because this thing is going to take up all of the power. Now we're going to go speed. And they're already done. Okay, so let's have a test. Let's have a look at this again. Let's grab some more, and we're going to compare how much faster this is. Because honestly, I don't know. Good night. Look at that. So the two stacks. And we are almost, we're almost at a redstone now. Holy crap. Look how fast that's going through our redstone, guys. Good lord. Actually, we don't, I don't think we have enough redstone for that. And the new base, guys, we will solve this problem. Where we have to keep converting it and stuff like that. Good night. Look at that. We're already done. Okay. So that works pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead off camera. I'm going to upgrade those other two to that. Because we're definitely going to need them. And so I'm going to upgrade these to the Elite Infusing Factory, and then we'll start working on something else. Okay, so I have all these upgraded here to the Elite State, so they all look amazing. These are all upgraded to the max. And so the next thing I think we're going to work on, guys, is the Crusher here. Um, now we need a steel casing, which we can make. Let's go ahead and make one of these, guys. Now we're going to make, we're going to make a few of these make five okay that's good mount um let's see here the crusher we need some buckets of lava okay so we can get a few of these cool so let's see here we're just gonna go ahead and make three even though i made five of those machine casings three seems to be a great number to work with okay so let's go ahead here we're gonna upgrade these to the next tier all right so they're all to the basic tier then we're going to need to make, let's see, 12 of these. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So this way we'll be able to upgrade them to the next tier as well. Uh, uses, uses this guy. Cool. So 1, 2, and 3. So now we can upgrade these to the max tier. Let's see, I don't know how much of these reinforced alloys we have. We might need to get some more going. Yeah, that did not keep my crushed diamonds when I upgraded them, so we just lost a heck ton of diamonds. Cool, now we only have a little bit. Might have to go do some mining here, guys. I was stupid. I didn't take I put too many diamonds in it without it being fully upgraded. That was my bad. Okay, so we'll dump all of these here and then sort them out maybe. Okay, yep. So we're all out. We only make 22 of these, unfortunately. So we can only make six of those. Uses, uses, uses. Bam. One, two. Oh, we can. We can upgrade all three of them. Nice. Nice. Okay, that's good. So grab some conduit here. Cool beans. Let's come on down here. We're going to need to clearly get some more power. So these will act like the crush factor or will act like the pulverizers. And I think that there's an enrichment factory. There's all these other different stuff that we can use quite a bit but let's get the enriching factories because the enrichment chambers these guys are amazing oh wait yeah these are yeah enrichment chamber literally looks identical that is weird <laughs> like i would i would think it was the same one Oh, you can make a purification chamber out of it. You can make a basic enriching factory, a pressurized reaction chamber. What? Stored energy. Uh, we're going to want these guys. Because I'm pretty sure these will allow us 
Ooh, sorry, text message. You have to double whatever you see because you have because they're the next tier. Whoops, I didn't do that right. So here and here, cool beans, and then we go here. We should be able to make these. Oh, we're out. <laughs> and we're all out of diamonds too. Oof. So what is the best way to get diamonds actually? All right, let me do some research off camera. We'll see, because if we can turn coal into diamonds, which you used to be able to, we will be able to do it. But let me see if I can find it. Okay, we've got something. So 64 graphite ingots equals one diamond. Now to make these, you can make, we can make graphite seeds. Now to make graphite, how do you do that? Oh my gosh, graphite dust. Um, pulverized coal. Okay, so we need to get a little bit into nuclear craft here, but we're gonna make so we're gonna automate some diamonds, guys. We're gonna freaking do it. Okay, so manufacturing. Why did we need that? We need holy shnikes. Okay. Oh, Farah boron. Really? Boron is ah freaking heck. We gotta get into ah freaking heck. <laughs> oh the fun of modded okay let me get some stuff going and uh we'll be back okay so technically we can automate diamonds now uh i have made the pressurizer which did take a heck ton of ferroboron which was just a whole bunch of steel stuff like that uh, but what it does take is it, it converts uh 64 graphite ingots or graphite dust i think into one diamond let's have a look here we can check here and yeah pressurizer obviously dust but 64 graphite graphite ingots into that so what i've set up is i have at our new base we're probably gonna need some more essence to get over there by the way let's have a look this is the new base uh over here for now we just have five of the graphite seeds um, as you can see here, they're all growing. What I do plan on doing is putting the growth accelerators underneath them, which wouldn't be a bad idea, but I have the graphite seeds here. We have the uranium seeds that are going to go here. Platinum are here. Endurium is here and the surge quartz is here, but we're going to have like a big field, kind of like this big for the graphite seeds. Now, is there a way to do that for emeralds too? Nope. There doesn't seem to be anything like that. But what I did see though, is that evolkers will drop them. So if we can go snag one of these guys up, and I think you can also drop villagers into a, a smell tree and they will die and bleed emeralds basically. But let's go ahead, because I think this is all related, let's go ahead and uh, get some of the growth accelerators for those seeds. We're going to waste our diamonds, aren't we? Yeah, look at that. All 22 is gone. So we can have four under each of them. Yeah, we don't have enough experience for that. Okay, so we're out of diamonds. I need to let our system catch up, which sucks. Because I'm just probably going to have to go mining for a little bit and use my Fortune 3 pickaxe on some diamonds. Or open up some of the ore bags. Come on. Okay. So I want to do it without disrupting the seeds. So we need to go down four blocks. So one, two, one, two, three, four. Okay, so cool. Now, so these should start growing much faster than they were before, hopefully. That's what they're supposed to do anyway. Look at that, they're already starting to grow pretty quick. Let's just have a look here. That one's already grown. This one's at 42% already. This one's at 28. So these are definitely growing faster. Uh, so the more of those we get, the obviously the better off we'll be. So let's go ahead and head on home. So this is all for mechanism. Like we're we're just basically knocking on the door mechanism today, guys. But we do I do plan on really getting into it soon. And look at that. We are starting to get graphite essence. So let's have a look here. Uses for this. So for every, see, so one, two, so these are eight, eight, it's eight to five. Okay, give me one sec. So we're gonna need 102, about 103 graphite essence per one diamond. And it's not coming in all that quick. So we're gonna need to make a lot more of these seeds. 
we're gonna need to go AFK and probably make some more of these block of um, these growth accelerators for him too. But uh, that's gonna wrap up the episode for today, guys. If you did enjoy, please make sure to hit that like button. And I think, yeah, for some reason my skin's all my skin is all glitched out. But I will see you guys in the next video. I hope you all have a great day. Take care. Have a great rest of your weekend. We'll see you later. Peace out. Bye bye.